Hi, this is the uh, eCrop Scout, and today I'm going to show you the features of the chemical application sheet. Uh, so we have, uh, you can put your logo there, you can put in your uh, particular client or grower here, you can put in your own name if you're a farmer, your top farmer, um, you can put in the back 40. When you put in uh, your name, any field that is uh, stuck in with that name will be associated in the, into the database um, so you don't have to keep retyping the different fields or farms that you have. You can put in the date, <clears throat> just uh, have the wheel there, and then you've got uh, crops. We'll go with corn here, one and three quarters, population 35,000. It's very dry. Uh, we have poor conditions. Crop stage, uh, maybe we're at V15, um, or maybe we're just down at uh, V3. Uh, percent county planted, 100%. State, put in any, any state and it populates the counties. And there you have it. Uh, no irrigation, and, and then uh, Tom is our applicator. Um, then uh, we can go and make a map so we can either draw a map, cut the field here, uh, maybe I'm only going to spray uh, this area here, area A, uh, that type of thing. Um, I can go in here and I can grab a map, so I go grab a map here. Um, this is one I saved in after I'd drawn on it already. So I have area A, area B. Maybe I, maybe I spray area A um, now and area B tomorrow, that type of thing. Again, <clears throat> even the ones you've already saved, you can pull them back up and redraw information on them if you want to do that also. So we go back here. Um, I'm going to put in the information here, applicator's name. Um, Again, that was uh, Tom, and uh, maybe he's got an ID, um, you know, that type of thing. Uh, starting time. So you can have today's date, you can have, you know, any date you want. Um, this also gives you the time. So maybe it was 11.20, maybe it was... Uh, you know, 7.20 in the morning, that type of thing. You put that in there and it's time stamps it also. Ending time, uh, maybe it maybe it took a little while, maybe it took uh, till 1.20. Um, and so there's your end time. You have your map area. Um, let's say it's area A, uh, the acres, um, 59 acres. And then uh, our application area was uh, area A. Um, we put in uh, 32 ounces of uh, generic Roundup per acre. Non-ionic surfactant, one pint per 100 gallons. Threw in some ammonium sulfate, 17 pounds per 100 gallons. I put the pounds in there. And then uh, EPA registration number. Um, you can enter the registration numbers for the products you use. <clears throat> in a future update, we'll um, have that automatically enter a registration number. Wind speed, maybe it was uh, 7 miles an hour. Temperature was uh, 72. Wind direction, it was out of the northwest, and maybe the field conditions were good. You can put in anything you want in here. Um, you can change these and put something else in there if you want to keep track of other things. You have notes over here. You put in uh, whatever comments you want to make about that. <clears throat> and then there's another area here, application area two, and again, it's who's who's applying and and all the different information. This gives you the records that you're required to give. There's a third area, and uh, 
and then you'd go add your map here. So I'd go back to uh, back to my field here, put that in there, my map, create a PDF. I want to create this one in color. Front page is my application page here, and the second page is my map. You need to save it. Go here and save it. Throw it into iBooks. And there it comes up. You can see I've got my stuff information entered like I should, and there's my map. So uh, you can uh, email this or print it, email it to your grower, email it to whoever, um, email it to yourself, your farmer, um, your library, and you can uh, set that up and know what else you put in there too. That's the um, chemical application app for eCropscout iPad.